Hello everyone, hello Miss Egan, welcome everybody, time for us to sing. Welcome everybody, round and round the ring. Say boom chicka boom, boom chicka boom, say boom chicka boom. Boom chicka boom. Say boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Aha. Aha. E he. E he. One more time. One more time. But quieter. Say boom chicka boom. 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 Say boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Say boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Aha, aha, e he, e he. No more time. No more time. Let's look at the chorus of the hymn for assembly this week, which is Seek ye first the kingdom of God. The words are really, really simple. We're just going to sing Alleluia. Alleluia. Remember, Alleluia is a joyful word. Alleluia. Alleluia. So I'll sing it and then um, I'll teach it to you. So it goes. Let's do that one phrase at a time. So the first one starts quite high, so let's get your eyes wide open. After me. <clears throat> Same again. Alleluia, alleluia, allelu, alleluia, allelu, alleluia. Let's put that all together. <laughs> Keep it nice and high. We're going to learn a really lovely song about the rainforest now, which I know year three are doing in their class topic work. Year four, you'll really enjoy this song too. It's got some beautiful images of monkeys chattering and spiders spinning their webs and toucans and parrots and um, hummingbirds searching for nectar. And I'm going to put some images in the video of, um, of the rainforest. You'll see the river running through the rainforest um, in South America and of the canopy of trees that you'll be learning all about. So here is the rainforest. So 
and the chorus of the rainforest song. The rainforest breathes, the rainforest breathes, and the rainforest sighs, and the rainforest sighs, and the trees turn their leaves, and the trees turn their leaves to the sun, to the sun, with colours so bright, with colours so bright, smell the scent in the air, smell the scent in the air, see the flowers open up, see the flowers open up one by one, one by one. Let's put all that together and sing the whole chorus. of the song over the next few weeks but for now just see if you can keep those um the chorus going round and round on your head i've got three beautiful lullabies to play you this week um, i'm sure you all know what a lullaby is a song or a piece of music that's played just before a baby or a small child goes to sleep now i'm sure some of you um, can remember lullabies from, from when you were very small, things like rock a -bye, baby on the treetop and lullabies are sung and played all around the world and if you think about it, it's not very long ago even in this country that little children would go to sleep and there were lots of diseases and lots of things that might happen to them in the night and so a blessing um, a lullaby is, is a sort of a blessing to a child saying sleep well little one, be safe, wake up in the morning. It's that sort of um, care and love from a parent to a child. Now there are parents all over the world who put their children to bed at night thinking that maybe there might be mosquitoes that might bite them and they might get ill so that still stands that feeling of a lullaby as a blessing to keep a child safe. I'm going to play you one that I bet you'll all know. This is by a German composer called Brahms um, and the German for this song is Wiegenlied. Wiegenlied. So this is um, the Wiegenlied, the lullaby by Johannes Brahms. It's not sung here, it's played on the cello and on the piano by Jojo Ma and Catherine Stott. The next lullaby I'm going to play for you is from a completely different part of the world. It's called Duerme te niño, duerme, sleep my little one, sleep. So it's a short little lullaby so I'm going to play it for you. See as you listen, can you tell what language the singer is singing in? I'm going to put um, the, the words up so that you know um, what they mean. Just listen carefully, duerme te niño. Yeah. 
So, do you know what that language was, Duermete Nino? That was a Spanish lullaby, sung by, it's actually it's sung not just in Spain, but in Mexico and lots of uh, Spanish-speaking countries around the world. Duermete Nino, I think it's such a beautiful, haunting melody. The last lullaby I've got for you today is written by an American composer called Eric Whittaker, who writes really beautiful, expansive, um, kind of lush music and this is called the seal lullaby I guess if a baby can you know a human baby can have a lullaby why can't a seal have a lullaby and it's a really beautiful poem I'm just going to read you the words the poem is by Rudyard Kipling oh hush thee my baby the night is behind us and black are the waters that sparkled so green the moon oh the comas looks downward to find us at rest in the hollows that rustle between where billow meets billow then soft be thy pillow our weary we flippling curl at thy ease the storm shall not wake thee nor shark overtake thee asleep in the arms of the slow swinging seas what lovely words and images i love the bit where um, the, the seal is called a weary wee flippling. What a lovely thought with its little flippers. And I've got some, I was looking it up, I, I didn't really think, why, why would you think, where, where do seals go to sleep at night? But of course they sleep in the sea and they just close their eyes and they float just above the surface or they float on the seabed or in the water. And, um, and they just lie there with their eyes closed being rocked gently by the sea. So this is Seal Lullaby by Eric Whittaker and I'm going to put the, the, the music, the actual notes, so that you can see what the choir would be reading from as they sing this. Seal Lullaby. <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed those three very different lullabies. Just um, let's have a quick quiz and see what you can remember. So the first um, lullaby that I played you, the one where the cello and the piano were playing, that was by a German composer. Can anybody remember his name? It was Johannes Brahms. And then the second one, we stayed in Europe, but we went to a different country. What was the second country we went to? Can anyone remember? That was Duermete Niño from Spain. And then finally, we traveled across a huge ocean and went to a different continent. Can anybody tell me where Eric Whittaker, the composer of the Seal Lullaby, where does he come from? He's an American composer. So lullabies are sung the world over by parents to children and mother seals to baby seals um, to say, sleep well, my little one, um, stay safe and I'll see you in the morning. That's nearly all we've got time for. I've got um, a really lovely song for you that you'll know. It's Celebration by Cool and the Gang and it's sung and danced and played here by children from all around the world.
bye everyone. Bye bye, Miss Egan. See you next.